Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to convert your Moto G XT1 of V3 to GPE Google Play Edition. Uh, so, I'm running the stock ROM currently right now. And uh, make sure you're on 4.4.2 KitKat right now to do that. Uh, you can, I leave the link in description for the 4.4.2 GPE. So, just download it and place it in the computer and extract the files. And I'll show you what to do next in the later part of the video as we get started. So, let's head to the computer. So, make sure you're running the stock version or any other version will work on almost every version unless it is X2103. So, you could see I'm running 4.4 I'm on a Moto G and pretty much it. So, now let's connect the phone to uh, the USB storage. Oh. I have connected my phone and make sure your phone is rooted and bootloader is unlocked uh, before this. If you are not rooted, stop watching this video right now. I have connected my phone and uh, let me show you my... Oh, uh, before that enable um, USB debugging by going to developer options and USB debugging. And if you don't have developer options, go to about phone, tap the bill number 7 times and it will be there. So, uh, so let's get started. Let's head up to the PC. So let's head up to the folder in which you have downloaded the file, a GP file. So my is here, GP, and you'll get this type of file. Just extract it, and you'll get this folder, all the files. Make sure you've connected the phone to the uh, PC, and just check it by pressing shift and uh, right click together and open open command window here and type in adb devices and you can see it shows offline but it is connected so uh, now uh, you don't have to do anything much uh, just double tap this and it will do everything oh i'm sorry before that just uh, go to the bootloader screen just type in adb reboot boot loader adb reboot boot loader and type enter wait a second now it's properly connected so you can see device now type in adb bootloader again and your moto g will boot into the bootloader and now what you have to do is close this command window and double tap this ignore all the errors Yeah, so you could see it works. I don't know what happened. Now it's writing the system files and uh, it will show you hap check fail for boot and recovery just ignore that they won't do anything just let it happen Yeah, it's everything user data almost over. So it's done now. The uh, command window automatically closed. So this was it. Now you're in GPE. So let's head up to the phone.